Here's a thought. Suppose we changed that. Suppose we changed the way we do an organized business so it worked like this. Monday through Thursday, you come to work at your job, and you do what you always did, your specific task, your skill, your specialty. On Friday, you come to work, just like you normally do, but you don't do your specific task. On Friday, you come, and at 9 o'clock, you sit down with all the other workers in your enterprise, whether they be 10 or 1,000, and you spend the day in meetings, and you decide what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, and what to do with the profits your work generates. In short, on Friday, you become the collective board of directors of your own enterprise. Everything would change. Every decision would change. If you recall, a few minutes ago, I told you that one of the great switches in the American economy that brought on this crisis was the end of rising wages in America around 1970s, when they flattened out and never rose again. If workers had run their own enterprises in the United States in the 1970s, that would not have happened. Workers would have gone on raising their wages, their real wages, as had been done for 150 years in America before that time. They would have raised their wages because their productivity was going up, as it did. They would have kept on sharing in their own rising productivity, as had been the case before. And then they wouldn't have had to borrow all that money. And we wouldn't have had the financial speculations built on that. We would have lived in a different kind of economic system. We wouldn't be living in a system in which the key decisions corporations make are made by a tiny group of people, a board of directors, 15 to 20 people, usually selected by the major shareholders of a corporation, another group of 15 or 20 people. They decide, those tiny groups, what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, and what to do with the profits. And we live in an economic system that is the result of the decisions they make. And one of the first things that ought to occur to Americans is if the pattern of outcomes from those kinds of decisions are as systematically dysfunctional as they have been and now are, that the minimum reasonable thing to do among the questions we ask as a people is, ought we to question and change the way we organize doing business? If all the workers in an enterprise participate in the decision, there's a name for that. It's called democracy. It's a democratic way of organizing production. If you believe in democracy, I would want you to ask yourself a question. Does your belief in democracy mean it only happens outside the workplace, but not inside? And where did you get that idea from? Did you read, did Thomas Jefferson write, um, only here, but not there? Not that I know of. It is our culture that celebrates democracy outside the workplace and, and somehow has decided it doesn't belong inside the workplace. 